Welcome everyone, Jasper with Brewery Life. Today I'm going to show you how to transfer a beer into the bright tank. So first you're going to want to make sure this bright tank is purged and sitting under pressure of the receiving pressure. So try to balance this pressure that you leave it at with the pressure on your FB. Some other things you'll need are some sanitized hoses ready to touch the liquid or the product. I like putting sight glasses on where uh, the transfer is going to happen so I can see how the liquid's moving. You're going to want a sanitizing bucket uh, with all your clamps and gaskets sitting in there. A uh, variable frequency drive pump. So this is a way you can slow down the impeller and do a nice smooth transfer rather than throttling the discharge of the pump to slow it down. And the other thing you want to check right now is to make sure your carb stone is in the bright tank. That's a real pain if you forget to put that in there and then it's filled with liquid. So make sure that carb stone's in there. All right, we're gonna set up the run and show you all the hoses. So we'll quickly do that and then I'll talk about where all the hoses are going. Okay, with all the hoses hooked up, let me show you what we have going on. We have a hose going from our racking arm and our FV into the suction side of our pump here. Our discharge of our pump is going into the bottom of our bright tank. Our third and final hose we have here is connecting our head pressures from our blow off or spray ball on the FV into the spray ball of here of the bright tank. This is able to balance the head pressures during transfer. We call it an umbilical cord or a balance line. So the first thing you want to do is balance the head pressures. To do this, we open our bright tank first. Now this hose is pressurized. And then we'll open the head pressure of our FB. Now both tanks should be under the exact same pressure and makes transferring 10 times easier. The next thing we want to do is balance or pressurize our product lines. So we'll open up the bottom of the FB first, making sure a discharge of our pump is open. And now all of our lines are pressurized and ready to transfer under this pressure. Last and final thing is to open up our racking arm and begin getting the beer into the tank. Now the beer will slowly move through this system. Once it stops flowing and the whole complete system is balanced out, then we'll turn on the pump very, very slow and begin the final transfer. After we turn on the pump, and that transfer is going, we'll want to rotate this racking arm to find the yeast cake, slowly bringing it down until you see the yeast or the hops cloud up the sight glass and bumping it back up a little bit. That way you make sure you transfer clear beer into the bright tank. So let's get that done. Alright, so once your sight glass is empty, you know all the beers in there, and you can go ahead and close all the valves on the system. Keep it in mind when you unhook these hoses that this whole system's still under pressure, so be wary of that when you go to clean this tank. You want to leave this bright tank under the head pressure that you're looking to carbonate at, so that'd be the last thing you have to adjust. But hopefully you got a Great idea of how we like to transfer beer in a brewery. Cheers.